In this video, we're going to go through the process of starting two work documents in Manage Online, one for a new customer and one for an existing customer. We'll start by adding a new customer and vehicle to Manage Online. When a new customer comes in, the first thing we need to do is gather some personal and vehicle information. First, we'll click the new link, which opens the new customer quick setup. We'll enter the customer's information. Last name or business name is the minimum required information. We'll go ahead and enter the rest of the information. You can enter the customer's zip code and click lookup to fill in the city and state. After entering the phone number, we'll click this radio button to designate it as the preferred contact phone number. It's highly recommended that you adopt a standard format for phone numbers. Later, when searching for a customer, Manage Online will include spaces and special characters such as dashes or parentheses as part of the search. So, if there is a mix of phone number formats, you may have the right number but not get the correct search results. Next, we enter his email address so we can email him repair orders and invoices rather than printing them. Since he wants to be contacted by text and email, we'll use these buttons to designate the customer's preferred method of contact. Next, we'll add a vehicle to the customer record by clicking here. There are several ways to enter the information on this page. By far, the quickest is to start with the license number as this is a required field anyway. Then, if you have My Carfax set up, you can click Quick Vent. If Carfax has information on this vehicle, it will enter it automatically, including the VIN, along with any service information that has been reported to them. To learn more about enabling Carfax, click the link above. If you don't have My Carfax enabled, you can enter the VIN here and Manage Online will decode it and enter the information in these fields. Either of these methods is recommended over manually selecting the information from these drop-down lists. Having the VIN entered helps the online catalogs better find the parts for the exact vehicle. If, however, you don't have a license number or VIN, then make your selections here. If you occasionally work on vehicles other than cars and light trucks, you can put a check mark here and manually type the information. So let's enter the license and choose the state. Then click Quick VIN to pull in the information. We verify we have the correct vehicle and select the trim level. When all of the vehicle information has been entered, we click Add to Customer. Now that we have the customer and vehicle information, we'll click Add to Document. The customer and vehicle are added to the document and we are ready to start an estimate. We'll clear this customer and vehicle from the document and start another one with a customer that is already in our database. To do this, we'll click Search. We can search by any of these information types. Let's enter Gin and click Search. As you can see, we got two different results, one for the last name Jensen and one for the first name Jennifer. Let's choose Jennifer Powell. This opens her customer information. To add Jennifer's vehicle to the document, we select it from this area and click Add to Document. We are once again ready to start an estimate. In this video, we saw how to add a new customer and vehicle to our database before starting an estimate. We also saw how to start an estimate with a returning customer who was already in our database. If you haven't done so already, we recommend that you watch the Manage Online Setup videos to get the most from your All Data Manage Online program. Thanks for watching. For more information on this or any of all data's products, visit our website at www.alldata.com or call one of the numbers on your screen.